Welcome to Professor Savings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Fu Wong. Today we're going to talk about bevelling goods in just two minutes. You'll learn the basics. Now, probably heard of this term in the economics book, and probably, you know what? Asking why should I care? Well, you should care because just in case you get into merchandising or pricing, it's good to know. Some basic history. It's named after Veblen, who introduced the term conspicuous consumption. Now, this occurs when demand curve increases as its price increase because consumers see it as an exclusive status symbol. Now, that's a good example, but just hold on. Development good has an upward sloping demand curve, which is different since most goods which have a downward sloping demand curve because demand goes down as price goes up. So, Veblen goods are high quality items and there's some characteristics. Think about it they're designer, luxury, high quality, and oftentimes exclusive. Now, let's talk about a little bit more. Veblen good price decrease. Demand will also decrease since the status where consumers will see it as less exclusive. Let's take Jane here as a multi millionaire owner of Cupcake Inc. with over 50 bakeries. She can afford any car she wants. Heck, she could just drive around town with a popular sedan for $20,000, but no, she has to buy one for $300,000 sports car. Cruising around, letting people know she's made it. Jane loves the feeling she gets and she pays for $300,000 for a car with status simple as a super entrepreneur. So get this, $20,000 for a sedan, $300,000 for a sports car would not satisfy her unless other people cannot drive cars that she has. It's a limited edition sports car. So that's it. It's pretty simple. So make sure you subscribe to our channel to learn more about finance basics and make sure you like and comment. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.